Welcome to this week's edition of Ripper Bites, sponsored by Larry Suarez. Today we're going to be talking about pop-up pop-up psychics, pop-up psychics, and some other little bits and bobs later on to come in the show as well. So yeah, we're not talking about the books and the little psychic pops up and the grant you free wishes or anything like that. We're talking about the type that you see walking along the what's it called Palladium, and not fairs Palladium. and stuff. You know, yeah, down the beach inside. and yeah. whatnot. And um, we uh, got given this picture that you're about to see um, this weekend, got sent into us, and it clearly displays a tarot teepee. And um, yeah, there's um, not much more to say about it. The backstory is that the person who was in this teepee, she had a stall selling crystals and rune stones. Now, what do you guys? Uh, I'm watching this think of pop up psychics. Are they a good thing? Are they um, charlatans? Are they just out to make a quick buck? What do you guys think? I think the fact that they pop up is pretty damn obvious why they're popping up. It's to take advantage of people, especially by the looks of this one, it looks like it's a car boot. Mm -hmm. um, not your normal run of the mill thing to find at a car boot stall. Um, I'm judging by the prices on there. I think it was exactly. Why, why it was at a car boot is to make money. Or is it just a way of getting their name out there? I don't know. Like car boot. Tarot readers and, and psychics are not your yeah, run of, you know, high street everyday shop, are they? I think they're more readers. so now they are. If you go to, yeah. if you go to places, you know. Well, you've got Selfridges fair. in London that have the psychic sisters there. Well, on like like Saturday, yeah. too, there was um, Fate, there was a pop up tarot person there. A uh, school fake, yes. Yeah, a school, school fake. fake. Kids fake. Tarot readings. I would have thought it would be more of a neutral thing than school fake, wouldn't it? That's school fake. Yeah. Is that going too far, though? I think it is. It's just school fake for great around kids and not well, it's parents. Yeah, but it's meant to be fun, isn't it, it's really? Fun, okay. As a, as a, as a six or seven year old kid, do you really want to is that, know does what that you're going to be like when you're 30? You take it as an entertainment. Yeah. Um, Sideshow sort of thing because it's out of fate, so it's an entertainment. Well, it's not, there was a law serious. Got, there was a law that got passed a couple of years mm. ago saying that so-called psychics and mediums should display this entertainment license thing, and that mm. they are basis for entertainment. But um, no, probably the ones with fates famous. and car boots. Yeah, but kids' fates. I mean, you know, school fates. I think it's taken it a bit too far. I think that there is more of an adult thing. I think there's a place for things like this, and you know, your tourist attractions, Blackpool, yeah. Brighton, Yarmouth. You know. Um, Tourist there places. Is, yeah, yeah there, there, there is a call for stuff like that. You know, you go on holiday, you have a bit of a laugh. Yeah, a little bit of fun. You have a, a bit, bit of a drink. Yeah, you know, 60 quid. And, you know, chucking five pounds at a woman that's going to tell you exactly what you want to hear that. may seem like a really good thing to do. Go, going back to the school one, um, most schools nowadays are multicultural, have different races, different religions in. Mm. So is tarot reading at a school fate a good thing? Well, as, yeah. as I know, tattoo reading isn't really doing any religion. It's, no, a, it's a belief. It's, it's a belief, but some people, you know, it's probably against some people's beliefs in religion. Well, I, I, it? it would be against Christianity, it would be mm. against Catholicism, mm. it would be against is Islam, it would be against Sikh, Hindu. Buddhists. Not so much Buddhists, because they're very spiritual anyway. The others that so, I mentioned, yeah. that they, they frown upon divination. Christian, yeah, Christian school, would it be the right thing to do? You know, where, you know, no, because cause you're going against what your God has um, said. Because uh, in the Bible it says that uh, you shan't deal in divination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that goes with every pop-up um, psychic there. Are, are they popping up in places where maybe they're not welcome, you know, due to the nature of the religion in the area or anything like that? It's, but if, if, into this. if you rewind it way back through the, through the decades, um, psychics were Roman Egyptians. And yeah, they did travel. I mean, we've got a picture of a bloke here who's based in the seaside. If you look at this, um, he's got the wagon there, either. <laughs> I don't know if that's his real name or not, but that's what he goes by in the picture. But he's got the old wagon. Does that make it more acceptable if they're like that because they look a bit more Romany than just a pop up tent at a car boot or a tent? Yeah, the chances, the chances of either there being you know, a traveller himself, I bet he's probably got a nice big house and he works from his house. You know, he just hooks up his little trailer and goes to a show. It's all for the show, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's so a, it's, just just, it's a scene setter. The, mm. the, tra the gypsy trailer is just a scene set, so I think, oh, proper Rip Joe Rip Rip Shibi Dibi 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 Dibi
where my elders live, they have <laughs> this. <laughs> they have this um, psychic. There, I'll bring up a picture now. Um, Zara, apparently, she's in a long line of generations of Petrolengo. That's what they're all bloody yeah. generations of. They're all. They must be all inbred somewhere. Yeah, I must have a petrolengo. <laughs> yeah, petrolengo everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. But well, it doesn't say it on the pictures you can see. But it says that she's come from a long line, and she's also offering a reward if you can prove that, if you could disprove what she is saying. Now, is that a scene setter, or is there something? Yeah, it's, it's, it's to draw people in, isn't it? It's like you know, people that don't believe in it. Think, yeah, I can disprove that. Everything she's but how, how would you disprove it? If she's supposed to be telling the future, are you going to remember 10 years down the road to go back to her and go, just to let you know that you said I was going to make... Well, how much the reward is. Yeah, I suppose it, you can see the amount, how much this one's offering. Mm -hmm. I suppose it, if I was follow sweet suit, even, <laughs> um, it will change an order. Being Ripper for a while now, we, we've um, exposed and investigated a fair few mediums. Um, but some of them charge extortionate amounts and they also say oh come and disprove us come and disprove us we've, we've tried doing experiments on people who, who say they've got the gift no one's come forward yet or if they have come forward they don't come forward to the end so it's a shout out to mediums and psychics out there if you think you've got a gift get in touch we've got a um, format experimentation sheet for you to read through sign if you agree with it we don't mind changing certain bits of it as long as it doesn't affect the general um, message we're trying to get across in it but I, I digress there um, my, my point is, psychics and mediums are very vague, generally. So they can say something to you, oh, you're going to meet a guy, his name's going to be Michael, you're going to meet him, and you're going to get on with him well. Michael's quite a common name, and they don't usually say when you're going to meet him. If, if anything, it'll be like, oh, you're going to meet a guy called Michael in the next year. Maybe you will meet a guy called Michael who works at Sainsbury's, he helps you with your shopping, and you got on with him. We've got some classic clips of um, mediums failing here. Right. Um, so let's have a quick look at some of these. Let, let's start with the um, late great Sylvia Brown. She's passed away now, which uh, some see as a godsend. But um, we'll start off with her, and there's also the classic James Brown Pro cock up. I lost my boyfriend tragically um, a few years ago. They never found him. And I've had such a hard time since every day. The reason why you didn't find him is because he's in water. And to find him in water, it's like the girl that's missing in Aruba. You can't find somebody. Well, it was September 11th. There was no, he was a fireman, but there was well, no. Well, no, see, I keep seeing him in water. Is there any way he could have drowned in water some way? They never found a piece of him. Nothing. From 9-11. Because he, he says he couldn't breathe and he was filled with water. Hmm. Well, if they were trying to put the fire out to Montel. They could have, you know, I, yeah. No, they won't find him, but honey, that's okay, because it doesn't matter if they find him or not, he's still over there. I mean, do you, are you one of the psychics that you look at people and you can read things about them? Uh, yeah, like, can I, you sense anything about me? Um, it would, may you I read for you? Okay, yeah, yeah. I need you to be open-minded about everyone living and deceased. Do you know the names of people deceased and living, grandparents, parents? Okay, I see an M or J person. Do you have somebody, family, that is a J or an M? I don't know. Yes, you do, <laughs> duh, duh. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, what, yeah, Is yeah. it a J or M? M. A J, M, is it a male? Or female M, I don't know. Female. Is it spelled M A? Yeah. R? Yeah. Like Mary? Yeah. Is that your mom? As my daughter. Or your, your, oh, it's your daughter. Was your daughter's there, okay, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, I mean, what, I don't know what she's around. living. But is there another Mary or Marie uh, deceased or middle name like this from your husband's side? No. Okay, I think there may be. But anyway. I'd like to start with this lady right here who's sitting right in the first row. Um, I have a mother figure very strong coming around you, okay? And uh, with the name of either Mary, Margaret, do you understand the name? Margaret Mary, okay, Margaret Mary. And um, I gotta tell you that I feel before she passes over though, there's a lot of um, uh, it's a hard time to walk or hard time to get up and get things going, do you understand that? And, and also a hard time, did she have medicines before she passed? Um, 
Well, she was on medication. But That's what I'm asking. She didn't okay. have any painkillers. Right, but there were med medications she took because I, I feel this very, very much before I, um, when she's coming in here. And I feel some arthritis, by the way. There's a lot of arthritis and there's a bone problem. There's also something with the back. So I don't know if she sees us sitting have a pillow with the back of her, no. or is that you? No. No? That doesn't make sense to you? Okay, and what about trouble with legs? No. Okay, who, okay. I, uh, who has trouble with the legs now? Well, my father's had two hip replacements. Two hip replacements. He cannot walk as well as he used to. Oh, no, he walks very well. Okay, okay. Um, right. Was your mother buried? Yes. Mm-hmm. Because she's talking about being buried in an a, a wake, or a funeral, rather. And um, she knows about it. She was very surprised by it all. And who's Kathy or Kathy? Is there Catherine or Kathy? Kathy? Catherine or Kathy? Oh, she's talking about that. Okay. You know about this name? Well, Kate. Kate, of, Katie, of, who's that? I have a cousin now that's just um Just passing surgery. Okay. Right now? I was... Come with me today, but um, she just had to have surgery. Let's talk about her, and she's praying with her, okay? I also know who's Catholic, but there's someone who's Catholic background. And yeah, we um, all are. You all are, okay. Yeah. So there was a mass said for her, and she wants to thank you for a mass that was said, and there are prayer cards that are said. There's a picture of Mother Mary somewhere around. A picture of Mother Mary, would you know about this? Do you know about this? Picture well, of Mother all Mary. Catholics have Mother Mary around somewhere. Good, okay, house. well, I don't. You, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, that was years ago. Um, <laughs> that still goes on. But yeah. Nola's mother's name is Mary, and... Nola's mother died yeah. when Nola was only six. Oh, okay. okay. That was in 1950. Mm -hmm. Do you go backwards? I do go backwards. <laughs> I go backwards, frontwards, sideways also. Um, so I want to talk about something else with you, though. I said, music, music, music. I don't know why about music. Did you not do music? Were you going to do music when you were younger and you stopped doing music? No. Okay, you never wanted to play the piano? No. Okay, who was that one to play the piano or music? I don't know. Don't know. Lovely picture in here. Oh, you're upstairs. Hello, darling. Hello, is this something called the barn? Is his name Bernard or Barnard? No. Why would he say that? That's our nan. Oh, your nan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So there you go. And that's one of my favourite ones there by Sally Morgan. Big... Uh, I was going to say foo foo, but people say they <laughs> take that for a different thing. Um, but yeah, it, it happens out there. Does it? Does it make her her claims incorrect? I mean, you, you do psychic readings. Mm. Uh, well, very rarely. Well, that's well, probably what I do. But... Well, what, what do you think of people who are doing this sort of thing? Would you set up a pop up no, still? Because it kind of pisses me off. Because to me, I hate the stereotype of it. I hate the typical like Gypsy Rose Lee bollocks. Because you know. There's real mediums out there, obviously, to you that's not such thing, but to me it is. You make me sound like a sceptic. But you are. But you've got the real mediums who work really hard all the time trying to help people, and you get some pillar who puts up some sign somewhere, and goes on the second son of whatever, puts an outfit on and calls herself a medium. And that just pisses me off, to, to me, it's an important thing. But what if they are a medium? It's, some of them just aren't, some of them just well, see, see, that makes me laugh when people like you say that, because of... You go to these shows or the, the big displays, the theatres mm. that they book at, and they always say, everybody's psychic, everybody can do it. Yeah, but but you're saying they can't. No, no, what I'm saying is, uh, some people just aren't, and they just set themselves up to make profit. I know to you, of course, you see all of them as the same thing, and that's logical. But to some, certain mediums, we're pissed off because we all get paid in the same brush. And it kind of, I mean, this, I mean, Every time you ever see a medium on the TV, it's a real awful stereotype. But you just got to put up on that. But you don't know. You don't charge for what you do reading. No, because that's my opinion. Why, why not? Because I don't see what you, you should. See, see mediums out there charging. Say, was it the pop-up tent was? I think it was five pound for a short and fifteen for in depth. For for ten minutes of your time, yeah. and you can get through. I don't know how many is there. You can make a lot of money for doing. Nothing real. Yeah, I could have made a full, I could make a lot of money doing it, but I don't agree with it. I believe if somebody's giving you this and you're responsible to do it, why should it be charged? Alex, I've got a challenge for you. Why don't the people at home that are watching this on whatever, why don't they come through to Rip HQ, like us, and we pick someone on Facebook, yeah, and we pick someone and you can give them a free reading? If they want one, yeah. 
So there you have it folks, if you want a free reading from Alex, all you need to do is pop along to our Facebook page, the address going along the bottom of the screen right now, give us a like, drop us a message and we'll be in touch. Also drop us a message if there's something that you want us to talk about, whether it be ghosts, photos, videos, anything of the sort, just drop us a line and maybe we'll discuss it next week. So until then guys, keep hunting, see you next Tuesday. This is real. I believe I am psychic. My first prediction, I am either gonna fly or ruin that family's picnic. Hey, you've ruined our picnic! Psychic!